welcome to another recharge. Um, before we begin, we're just going to take two minutes of silence and centering with God. So let's do that now. So this morning I was kind of meditating on 1 Peter 1 verses 14 to 16 um, and I'm reading this in the NIV version um, and yeah so if you guys want to get out your Bibles and read along with me it's just a really simple verse. Okay, 1 Peter 1 verses 14 to 16. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. I'll read that one more time. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, For it is written, be holy because I am holy. And I think um, as I was meditating on that, just how cool it is that Jesus sees us as holy. No matter the things that um, we've gone through in the past or um, the things that we are dealing with now, Jesus always sees us as holy. But he writes so clearly as obedient children because he calls us to be obedient. Do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. So when he's saying, when you lived in ignorance, um, he's meaning before we came to know Christ, before we were born again, before we didn't know any better, before we didn't have the Holy Spirit to convict us and to guide us and to comfort us and to show us the areas that aren't glorifying God. But just as he who called you is holy, just as Jesus who is holy called us to be his children, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy, because I am holy. And I think it's so amazing um, that we have Jesus to look up to and his life to look up to. And whenever we're struggling with holiness or we're struggling with um, not knowing what holiness looks like, we can just come straight to the word and see how Jesus lived and see how Jesus put aside so much time to be with the Father. There's the more time that you spend with your Creator, with your heavenly father who is holy the more that you desire to be holy and the more that you desire to live the way that he did and so jesus we see so much in the word that jesus put aside so much time to spend time with god to press into what he was saying to seek his voice to get to know him to actually know his father and so 
when we, because we are called to be holy as a priesthood, as his obedient children, if we don't know what holiness looks like, then we need to search the word and we need to search um, and spend time with Jesus and actually ask him, what does it look like to be holy? What does it look like to live more like you? And the more that we spend time with him and the more that we get to know him, the more that these evil desires of the flesh aren't going to be a factor in how we live our life because we know what it's like to be holy and we know what it looks like to be holy and so we're going to want to um, grow in that. I don't like using the word striving because I don't believe that um, we need to strive to be who God has created us to be because he already loves us so much we don't need to strive for his affirmation or his love or his acceptance. Um, but we do need to want to grow more and we do need to have a healthy fear of the Lord and we do, I guess, um, not strive but push ourselves to want to be more holy, to desire to want to be more holy and the way that we get that desire is by asking the Lord to give that to us and by spending more time with him and um, knowing what it actually is like to live a holy life and a life that pleases and glorifies him. And so I just want to encourage you guys, before we close today, to sit with God um, and to ask Him, what does it look like in my life to be holy? And what are some areas in my life that are not glorifying you and that aren't holy and righteous and don't bear good fruit? And so I'm just going to pray and then we're going to spend two more minutes. In those two minutes, I just want to encourage you guys to talk to God, have a chat with Him and ask Him some areas, um, ask Him about some areas in your life that may not be glorifying Him and also ask him what it looks like to live more like Jesus and to live a holy life. So, I just thank you so much, Jesus, for every single person who has watched this retouch this morning. And I just pray that um, any there will be no condemnation to anybody who might be dealing with some things right now and that they just need to hand it over to you. I just pray that there will be no condemnation from the enemy at all. We just bind the enemy in the name of Jesus and we just tell him that he is not welcome here. And I just ask your Holy Spirit to come in and minister to our hearts, Lord, and to really just comfort us and encourage us and guide us to live a holy life and to live more like you, Jesus. I just pray that you will continue to speak to us throughout our day and that we will just become closer to you and more like you. In Jesus' name, amen.